All right, everybody. So if this is today's video, it's Friday, and um, we're gonna be taking this big load to the scrapyard. But um, I want to talk about a few things also, and just said I just scrapped today. Um, I've been watching a lot of videos, other people's stuff um, on the forums and stuff, scrap forums and everything, talking about scrap prices. They're not gonna come up. They're not gonna anytime soon. So don't be give, don't be thinking that. Um, I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. And usually prices go down in the summer anyway. So we'll just leave it at that. All right. So what we're going to do today is let me flip you guys around. We're going to be bringing in this. I got to I gotta actually use my, my wide angle. This giant load of tin that me and Lunchbox loaded yesterday. So you got the 24-foot Belmont trailer. Now, that's one of the things I wanted to talk. Another thing I wanted to talk about. I see some of you guys pulling trailers like this with minivans, small SUVs, uh, um, uh, transit connect vans with water heaters on. There's one dude, and I'm, I'm calling you out. Like, they're, that thing is only rated to tow 3,000 pounds, and he's using a car trailer. And I said to him, I said, it takes a lot of cojones, if you know what I mean, to tow that with a Transit Connect fan. Like, the thing only has a 2,000 pound or 3,000 pound, and it doesn't even have a seven-way connector. So if your truck doesn't have a seven-way connector, you probably shouldn't be towing six to 8,000 pounds. Just going to put that out there. I don't know what in the hell... You guys think now some of the older Ford Chevys and Dodges Toyotas didn't have the seven way plug adapter and they don't have um, they don't have the uh, brake controller like my truck has it all uh, built in and everything. So the problem is now the problem is, you know, my truck can tow 14,000. So my trailer I know is 3000 with the wood sides empty 3100. So if I get a big load like this and it's 7,000 pounds, when you add the tongue weight to the truck, I'm still within the legal limit of my truck and my trailer. Put this on my 150 and I'm be over on my axle because of the tongue weight. That truck doesn't hold as much tongue weight as this one. And it, uh, it could be over on my axle on my truck. Yes, I have towed it, but it's still within the realm of not being overloaded. Now... If you have a car trailer, this is a standard car trailer. If you have a car trailer and you put a car on it that's 3,000 pounds, that's 6,000 pounds, you need a 150 or higher to tow that. Yeah, you could probably tow it with a Toyota Tundra or a new Ford Ranger, but you're going to be at the max of its weight. You know, a, a, a Honda Ridgeline is not going to tow it. I mean, you're going to be maxed out and you're going to be maxed out on your tongue weight, which is going to force you to push the car back, which is going to make you too tail heavy to tow it. They're not made for towing things like that. They're made for towing like this small trailer over here. See, my little trailer with the ton on it. Yes, that those trucks are made for that. And most standard F-150s, EcoBoost and stuff have really high ratings. But when you put 11, 12,000 pounds or you put a load like this on that's high, catches air. They don't tow good. Let's be honest. Once you start towing every day or a lot and you're getting over 6,500 pounds, you need to go three quarter ton or one ton. The, I, I don't care. And if you use a camper that's really high, like this is, looks high, but it's only like about seven and a half feet high from this. So we're probably from the ground. We're probably easy 10 feet. My camper is 13 feet to the top of the air conditioner. Yeah, 13 feet. So it, and when I pull it with this truck and my camper is as wide as my fender is on both sides. So it's just a giant box that catches air. And that thing tows harder than towing 11,000 pounds on this truck because I tow the camper with this truck. So, you know, know what your truck is capable of. And some of these guys are like, I have an 80s Dodge and I tow 10,000 pounds. They're not rated for that. If you get hit by the DOT or you get pulled over, get into an accident, you're automatically at fault. There's, I don't, there's not many trucks in the 80s and 90s that are rated to tow 10,000. And I'm going to put this out, point this out to you. I pointed out in one of my other videos. I'll leave the description up here. About Ford versus, um, uh, not Ford, gasoline versus um, diesel. So, uh, this truck is a gas engine. This truck can tow 14.5. The original 7.3 power stroke that everybody loves, 250s, 350s. You know what they were rated to tow from the factory? 10,000 pounds. That's it. So that means this truck can tow more than the old diesel. Just And the, the 6.0s were only 14,000. This truck is still more with the gear ratio. So we'll just leave that there. Now, don't tow anything and don't go full retard. I mean, this looks bad, but 
for my truck. I won't even know this is here today. So we're going to bring this to the scrapyard, find out what the weight is, find out what we're towing today, weight-wise. And we're going to make some money, right, Joe? We're going to make money. Or, I'm sorry, Lunchbox. We're going to make some money today. And I got a few other things, too, to do. But uh, it's still early. It's 7 o'clock in the morning, 7.30 in the morning. We're going to be heading out to the scrapyard, be the first ones in line, hopefully. And um, let's see what we can do. All right, we made it to the scrapyard drama-free. Almost like sugar-free. All right. That guy in his dump trailer weighed 10 too. I weigh that empty. <laughs> um, 16 one, 16 2, 16 Mark, 16 So we're, we got like 5,500 pounds on, guys. So we were still um, way under the weight uh, of being overloaded. So, I mean, it, it looks a lot heavier than it was, but you know, I know how to load my trailer. Man, I do not feel good, Joe. I know. My, my pressure in my head feels like my head's going to explode. Uh, but we're done. Uh, I feel like my eyes are going to pop out of my skull. Do you need some Benadryl or something? Not Benadryl. Um, okay, something. Uh, what do they call those? Um, bullet? Yeah. Uh, 10,500, so... Yeah, we had... Um, 5,700 pounds, uh, something like that. Yeah. It was a good day for that first load, and we're going to go back and do some more stuff. So let's go see what we get paid. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we had 5,700 pounds. So we weighed on at 16.2, weighed out at 10.5, uh, 193 gross ton, which is a decent price, but that's my price. Regular price is a lot lower at the scrapyard for common folks. So I made $498. It's not a bad haul for that load of tin. And we went back to the house and I got a little load of stuff together. Uh, cleaned up some copper and some brass. So a brass radiator, just a bucket with a couple electric mowers, a couple batteries. This can is copper, number one and number two mix. There's only a little bit, it's only like 40 pounds. I wasn't going to separate it. I got a couple more electric motors. That has got about, you know, eight or nine inches of brass in it, probably 40, 50 pounds of brass. I'm going to take this stuff in tomorrow because my buddy Joe has a trailer like this that's full of buckets of crushed aluminum cans. Cans! The no, cans! Nobody likes cans. Like so we're going to bring them in, and that's, that's his money for today, for tomorrow. <laughs> so we're going to... We might have more stuff to pick up, but I'm going to close out and end the video. We went through and cleaned up... A little bit of stuff I had here. It's only like 12.30, but I'm just not feeling it today, Joe. Yeah. I can't, man. I'm, I have a massive headache. This is the rebar crap we picked up yesterday, but... Yeah, we're going to end the video, man. You can see I'm just not feeling too hot. But I'm still out here grinding, guys. Always be working, man. Don't let the man get you down. Don't let sickness get you down. As you see, I haven't even shaved in like a couple days. I'm so exhausted. But, um, yeah, it just, I don't even know how to end the video. I'm just so exhausted, but, uh, thank you guys and I'll see you later.